that right here of the age. 10 years is uh, the elder right now, and also has a two inch reach advantage right now. Now that could come into play if he's able to keep him at the distance. John McAllister is gonna have to do what he can to negate that, come inside with good head movement, throw hard punches. It's gonna be difficult to do with that uh, small reach advantage sometimes, but doesn't always make a difference if the guy doesn't know how to utilize it. This will be the fifth pro bout in bare knuckle fighting for John McAllister and his third in BKFC. McAllister told us in his fighter meeting the main focus of his training has been better movement. McAllister said, I've been caught up in standing and trying to trade, and that simply is not a winning formula. Well, it's not a winning formula, especially if you don't have the reach that we talked about earlier. If you have the reach advantage, you can keep your person at bay. You can throw punches and hit them when they can't hit you. That's what we said John McAllister has got to work on his head movement. He's got to work on getting inside, and as he comes inside, he has to throw hard punches, making sure that his opponent isn't able to counter that with uppercuts or, or, or jabs, keeping at the end of those punches exactly what McAllister needs to do. McAllister feels that his opponent, Haim Ghazali, single-mindedly is just going to try to rush in. McAllister said, I'm going to throw uppercuts, I'm going to punch in the clinch, then try to move out. I have to keep slipping, I have to use excellent footwork and a solid jab at all times. Well, I think he should hope that his opponent does keep coming in because that negates that little bit of a reach that his opponent has. If he's on the inside, he's got the shoulder arms, he has the advantage, he can be quicker with those punches. McAllister believes that his biggest advantage in this fight will be punching power. He has shown that in the past in defeat. He wants to combine that punching power now with vastly improved movement. Yeah, and that's gonna be the key right there. If he can move, not be there when his opponent is there to be hit, make sure he's slipping underneath the punches, especially when he's coming forward. If he can come forward without getting hit, that's a key for him to win this fight. Haim Ghazali tonight proudly becomes the first Israeli in BKFC, and we are being broadcast in Ghazali's native Israel. Ghazali said, I am not going to let my home nation fans down. This is his BKFC and indeed pro bare knuckle debut. Ghazali, very accomplished as a pro MMA fighter. He's had 19 bouts, including seven in Bellator. He's also a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. He feels that that pedigree between Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and MMA will allow him to dominate and ultimately win this fight in the clinch. Well, that's an interesting strategy right there. He's gonna try and go inside, land hunt heavy uppercuts, use that half tie plum, push his opponent around. Um, he has a little bit of a size advantage, a little bit of a reach advantage. It'd be good to see him stay on the outside and make his opponent pay every time McAllister tries to come forward to eat a punch. Uh, but if he wants to stay inside, could be a very good, if he's got good movement and good time plum, he can use that to his advantage. Ghazali said of John McAllister, he has a big, powerful overhand right. He does very well moving forwards, but he really struggles moving backwards. Ghazali said, I'm going to make him move backwards, fight in the clinch, not allow McAllister to set his feet. Yeah, well, that is the thing. I don't know too many people we've talked about who are able to do well backing up. It seems like, especially in this sport, the person who's putting forth the pressure, the person who's throwing the punch first. If you're first, you're typically winning the fight here. McAllister wants to move. Ghazali wants to move forward and dominate in the clinch. We shall see. Back we go to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the next fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds at a bare knuckle weight of 205 pounds. Presented to you by BetOnline.ag. Introducing you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he wears blue, white, and silver. His official weight, 201.8 pounds. As a bare knuckle fighter, he steps into the squared circle for the fifth time. 
Fighting out of Pullensby, West Virginia, here is John the Great One, McAllister. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears white and blue. His official weight, an even 204 pounds. He holds a pro MMA record of 13 victories, opposite six defeats, and makes his bare-knuckle debut here tonight. Fighting out of Bakyam Israel, here is Haim, the Israeli Batman Ghazali! And our referee in charge of the action, Chris Young. So often, of course, Chris, not just in bare knuckle, but in all combat sports, it comes down to range. This is very much going to be, I believe, a range fight. Are you ready? Let's knuckle up! Round number one. White and blue trunks for Han Gozali. Blue and white trunks for John McAllister. McAllister to the inside. Furious strike for John McAllister. Now, this is where Gozali feels that he will take control, even though he did not initiate that clinch. It was not an active enough clinch for referee Christopher Young. That's the separation. And McAllister is bombing. I know he wanted to be here, but he's got to be throwing punches, says Gonzalez. He's inside, but stop, if you're tying stop, up stop, like he's stop. doing listen right me, now, the referee's going to break it up. Come on to grappling, okay? There's nothing look. He's right got back to it, orders Christopher Young. He's got to work on grabbing the tie plum and throwing punches with that, using that free hand to land punches. If you're not doing that, they are going to buck you up. Early stages already. We're seeing the better movement from McAllister, and Gonzalez is rocked. Spun along the ropes, McAllister stepping in. One three, ten remaining three. round number one. And this right here is where you can tell McAllister's been in here before. He knows exactly what he's done in the past. He knows what has not worked and what has worked, and he's trying to utilize that to make it work this time. See the overhook on the near side held by Ghazali. That's a defensive overhook, Chris, to get the break. Exactly. McAllister right back into the pocket. Now, not a lot of action is there. He's going to continue to break him up and they're just hugging him. Look it up. See Gozali pulling back that punch. No such hesitation for John McAllister. McAllister to the inside. And McAllister's doing a really good job right there of dominating position and making the punches when he wants to. And right now, McAllister is winning in the area where Gozali felt that he would take control and ultimately claim victory. Well, once again, Gozali's just holding when he's inside. McAllister's actually punching when he's on the inside. Big wide swings. There's a huge uppercut. A bolo punch with the right hand now lands for John McAllister. Gazzali taking some big shots here in the opening round. Final seconds of round number one. Quick separation again from Christopher Young. Right back to it. Straight right hand. Big left hook, check left hook for McAllister just before the bell. And we move to round two. And I think Gonzalez right now is really getting an education on bare knuckle fighting right now. This isn't exactly what you might think. You think this is just like MMA with no glove. It's not quite the same thing. Let's see how he reacts. If he's able to take all this that's going on in that round process and adapt. As we can see right here, Backing up his Gazali and a good right hand thrown and landed by McAllister right there. He's doing a smart thing afterwards, continuing to throw hard punches, even though he's getting clinched at all times. It's now his fifth pro bare knuckle bout. Round number one was the best round ever for John McAllister. To round number two we go. Here he is start off the scratch line for McAllister. And you see uh, already an adjustment is being made by Gonzalez. He's turning his opponent around and he's landing some good body punches right there. Sometimes it just takes you around. Sometimes too to get a good feel for what is going on here. Bare knuckle. Gazali with the underhook to the inside. Note the head positioning. Trying to control his Gazali. Looks a lot like dirty boxing in MMA right now. That is what Ghazali is trying to implement. Statistically, that was a big round number one for John McAllister. And now down goes McAllister against the flow of this fight. And you look at the knockdown right there. That came from a, a good right hand. Oh, McAllister still looks hurt. He's wobbly. He's, yep, he's bouncing. 
He's right. Look, look. Wow. They let it go. We fight on Ghazali now looking to finish. McAllister clearly won round Four. number one. And now down for the second time in round number two. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. Taking the mandatory eight count again from Christopher Young. Young stops it. That is it. The massive cut from behind win for Han Ghazali in his BKFC debut. And like we talked about, sometimes it just takes you around, sometimes too, to get a good feel for what's going on. You can tell the first round, he was very uncomfortable. He made adjustments going into his uh, corner in the, after the, in the second round. He looked like a totally different fighter. Again, as a veteran of 19 pro MMA fights, Chris Gazzali knows how to make adjustments. That's exactly what he did in round two. And he hit him right in the ear right there, if you can see. That right hand going to knock most people down when you hit him in that spot. And after that, you could tell McAllister was still hurt right from the, the, the time he got up there. He was not had his legs underneath him. He was wobbly. He was just looking for another reason to go down. And when he did, that was it. Again, what Haim Ghazali really did in round number two was implement his MMA-style dirty boxing, and it worked all the way to victory. Well, he did that, but he also landed a big right hand from outside. So uh, he was able to utilize that reach, able to get his opponent a little flustered because the fight wasn't going the way it was in the first round. He changed things up, moved it around, and was able to land a good punch. Bare knuckle fighting is an extremely difficult combat sport to win and come from behind fashion. That's just what we saw Haim Ghazali do in the BKFC ring. Yeah, he, he, he took some damage in the first round. You can tell he was not comfortable there. I think I actually looked at him and thought he was thinking, what am I doing here? Why did I even try and do this? Um, that happens sometimes. You go to your corner, you get a round, you get a break, you figure it out. OK, I know why I'm doing this. I'm a fighter. I got to figure this out. And he did. We go to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Chris Young, steps in and calls a stop to the fight at one minute, eight seconds into round number two for your winner by K.O. Khan, the Israeli Batman, Garcelli! Great intro for him, and he learned a lot. He had that first round, he didn't really feel comfortable that right there. He was able to come back to his corner readjust and, and figure it out. Haim Ghazali found and indeed fought his way back into this fight, dropping John McAllister twice in round number two. The winner by way of second round knockout, Haim Ghazali defeats John McAllister. Welcome to the world of Bare Knuckle TV. Watch every live Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship pay-per-view event for only $3.